Hey, how are ya? It's um, me, it's Dr. Soloway. I'm sorry, can't make eye contact. I'm driving home from work after a nice 11 hours or 12 hours in the office. And uh, I wanted to address some questions that have come up. Uh, today's topic is avascular necrosis or AVN. That's Alpha Venus Nancy, AVN stands for avascular necrosis. Avascular means without blood. Necrosis means dead. So, um, osteonecrosis is the same thing. Avascular and osteonecrosis are the same. Dead, dead bone from lack of blood. So, the famous place that people get avascular necrosis is their hip. You can get avascular necrosis in any bone in your body, but the hip is the famous place. And the hip is quite interesting because the blood supply to the hip can become interrupted by such unusual things, air bubbles, um, trauma, lipid or fat or cholesterol. So... The people that get avascular necrosis or a dead hip first, the treatment uh, is often surgical. If it's caught early enough, the hip can be decompressed so it does not collapse. If the hip is too far gone, uh, we will see what is called a crescent sign. And once we have this, we know it's too late. And once it's too late, the hip must be replaced. Otherwise, you will deal with severe pain. Injections are not recommended as they can worsen the avascular necrosis. This includes injections of any substance into the joint. Um, so this is a big problem, avascular necrosis of the hip. So some of the causes of avascular necrosis of the hip include trauma, Alcoholism, so if you drink too much, you can kill your hip. It's not uncommon. Steroid use, prednisone. Now, I prescribe a lot of prednisone, but I don't get a lot of avascular necrosis of the hip. And that's because the avascular necrosis of the hip usually occurs in young black females receiving 60 milligrams a day or more for a prolonged period albeit usually for kidney disease, and the choice is lose the kidney or lose the hip. So it's not done on purpose. It's often not preventable, but it's a very common sign. I apologize. The phone, my office, my mobile office is ringing and doing all kinds of stuff while I'm trying to give you guys a um, education on avascular necrosis. Other causes of uh, avascular necrosis in the hip would be deep sea diving or caisson's disease where nitrogen and oxygen um, float into the blood vessel and clog off the circulation. Um, parachuting, when you land on the ground there could be a little too much impact in the hip and you can kill the hip. Bo Jackson had avascular necrosis because when he was tackled and he fell on his hip, he disrupted the blood supply to the hip. Uh, let's see. This is not a planned lecture, so I don't have a planned list of uh, all the encyclopedic things. Now, there is a hemoglobinopathy, not sickle cell disease, but hemoglobin SC disease is associated with avascular necrosis of the hip. There's a characteristic of the abnormal hemoglobin that uh, does not allow it to make the blood flow properly and it'll clog up that little flow to the femoral uh, head and neck, which will kill the hip. Um, so we see this also in the knee. We can see it of the ankle, the tail or dome. We can see it of the calcaneus which is the heel bone. We can see it, um, uh, gosh, I've seen it everywhere. I've seen it in the shoulders. I've seen it, uh, maybe I haven't seen it in an elbow. Uh, certainly the wrist bones, there are eight wrist bones and 
I believe I've seen it in just about all of them, recently the scaphoid, but typically um, there's what, uh, they have, some of these have names, uh, they're named after the person who discovered them. One that comes to mind as common is called Kleinbach's disease with a K. Um, there's many others, I just, I'm tired and I simply can't think of all the names. The most important thing is to recognize things. So get a good history, make sure your doctor asks you all the right questions, make sure you get an x-ray. If you're very suspicious of the problem, you get an MRI. Sometimes a bone scan can be helpful. Pain relievers are very important. So that's it on avascular necrosis. If I forgot some of the causes of the hip, uh, you can remind me and I'll admit that I forgot. Um, okay, have a good evening. Don't forget to hit the bell. Listen, this is important stuff. I give good lectures, I want good feedback. So don't forget to hit the bell. Don't forget to tell all your friends to subscribe. Don't forget that if you have joint pain, nobody treats it better than I do. Not possible, not around anywhere that I know of. So, uh... Have a wonderful evening, enjoy the rain, and I'm going to enjoy my ride home for food and sleep.